Chip K with Make Magazine and another weekend project right out of the pages of Make. I know you're going to get a kick out of this one, but first, let me ask you this question. How many times has this happened to you? You're fast asleep, and the inevitable happens. That pesky alarm clock, which you can never reach. So you roll over and try to ignore it. Yep, the old alarm clock. Can't live with it, can't live without it. Well, I'm going to show you how to go retro on your alarm clock. Our weapon of choice, the Sega Light Phaser. That's pretty cool looking. It's got a great trigger and it's got a lot of room inside for what we're going to be doing. And our target for the phaser is this little cube multicolor LED alarm clock. First thing we're going to do is remove all the screws from the light phaser and be sure to look for the secret hidden screws that they uh, sometimes hide and remove the top case and that'll reveal the guts on the inside. Then we're basically going to remove everything inside the light phaser except for the trigger and the little switch for the trigger. So there's going to be a board in there, remove the wiring for that. And also you want to remove these weights. They put the uh, these metal weights inside to give it a little bit of a heavier feel to it. So those are going to be gone. And then we're going to disassemble our alarm clock, remove all the batteries. In this case there was two little button cells and uh, four double A's that powered the LED. And this alarm clock actually unsnapped and uh, came apart and revealed a little circuit board inside. And our main focus in this one is the tap buttons. That basically shuts the alarm off. After you trace back from the board the tap buttons and identify the connections, that's where we're going to be making the connection for our light phaser. So we're going to cut off the other end of the Sega connector and trim it back. And we're only going to end up using two wires in this project. I just chose black and white. You can choose whatever colors you want. I drilled a small hole in the plastic case of the alarm clock to run the wire through and made my two connections on the little circuit board and closed everything back up. And now to add the real effect to our phaser, I found this G.I. Joe toy, which has a great little module inside with a bunch of different sounds, and we're going to be using that inside the phaser as we blast our alarm clock. So you basically want to disassemble this entire toy, just leaving a small circuit board, the speaker. We're going to be adding a twin AAA battery holder. And you can see there's two LEDs, but we're going to reduce that down to one in just a second. Now we do need to do a little bit of work inside the Sega Phaser by cutting away some of the uh, plastic to make room for all the components. So break out the Dremel and get to work on that. Everything fits really nice. The circuit board fits in nice right behind the trigger the AAA batteries, the speaker, and then we're going to wire our LEDs all the way to the front of the light phaser so you can actually see the LED when you fire the gun. All right, it's time to put everything back together and test it out. We've set the alarm, and the alarm should be going off any second now. And we have blasted our alarm clock with our phaser. And there's your phaser blasted alarm clock.